He digs the arm underneath, shoots his knee to the other side, and then he gets into the crab rod position. So reverse De La Hiva, everybody understands this position. He digs the arm underneath, and he shoots his knee to the other side, pushes through, and then he gets into the crab rod position. So let's look at it one more time. Scoop the arm through. He's elbow deep right there, you guys see that? And I want you to also notice that when he makes his roll, he's, gets a, he's getting up onto his shoulders, and, and then check. This is a good little tip that Phil was talking about the other day. Just shooting this knee to the back of this knee. So he makes his move. That's the objective, to shoot to that back knee. Got it? So look, when you're playing this position, I'm using the hook right now to hold on to him. But when it's time to spin, I'm gonna have to drop the hook or I'll just stay attached to him over here. Okay? So um, kind of come down and play me a little bit. When I'm ready to go, look, I switch. My first movement is to go elbow deep. And during that motion, I bring my knee to my face and I keep my head and my neck off the ground. That's what allows me to spin comfortably. So I'm never getting my weight down onto my neck, with his, especially with his weight pressing on. Again. Yep. That guy. If you start putting the weight up here on your neck, you're always gonna be like, well, that inverted game, I don't really do that. I gotta, I'm old, you know. No, you don't do it well. It's not the same thing. You could do this motion, old, young, fat, skinny, whatever. You just don't know how yet. So spend some time and make sure that your neck is never receiving the weight. Trust me, you don't want anything to do with that. You're finished. Like not forever, but in this play, like you're committing to opening the space to him by putting your foot on the ground. And even if I try to spin, like I see some of you guys doing this. Dude, there's no, get, there's no game at all right there. There's nothing stopping him at all from getting on top of me. The game, once you commit, so come down into like a half, get all the way to the half. And now start to stand. Once you start to commit to a game like this, the, the, the shin has got to be involved in the defense now. Not out here planting you to the ground. You want to get off the ground. You want to be off the ground. All right, so don't, let, don't get caught in trying to play like this. You're never going to make this work. I don't, I don't care what moves you learn from what person. They're not going to work for you. You got your body doing two different things, playing two different philosophies at the same time. That's no good. Right there, start to pass him on the 50 on this side. 